You should join us, Kakarot. Think of the battles you'll have. Isn't your Saiyan blood boiling with excitement from the thought? Shut up! If you think I'd ever join you, then you're dumber than you look! I can't help but wonder. That child behind you, is that your son? He, he's not! Yes, that boy indeed has Saiyan blood. It's no use trying to hide it from me. I can see his tail from here. So what if he does? You know, perhaps you need a little time to decide. I'll just borrow your son for a while so you can think over my offer. Take one step closer to Gohan and I'll knock you out! Back off! If you want your little brat return safely, Kakarot, prove your Saiyan spirit. Eliminate 100 Earthlings and pile them here before I return in one day. And let me be very clear about this. If I come back and I don't see a hundred corpses, I kill the kid. doing here I was pursuing him and as much as I'd like to kill the wretch myself the sad truth is I have a better shot at that if you were along for the ride hold on you mean team up with me why in the world would you ever do that don't get the wrong idea this would just be a temporary alliance only for the sake of eradicating that alien off my planet once that purpose has been served I'll keep my promise to crush you then I can get back to my plans of world domination. Bulma, I need to borrow the Dragon Radar for a bit. Oh, uh, of course. Let's go. Think you can keep up with my flying Nimbus? You gotta be kidding. I'm a cut above the rest of you puny humans when it comes to flying. you'd at least be smarter than this. But you have no idea how out of your league you are. Let's skip the pleasantries. We're here to take you down. Simple as that. I'm sorry, brother. I was thinking about my offer and I've changed my mind. You'd probably just slow the rest of us down. And for betraying the Saiyan race, you will die! Since you're going to be eradicated anyway, let me share a little something with you. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than me. <laughs> you could train yourself for a lifetime and never even come close to their level. But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, you're not going to survive another day anyhow! What was that? You've got a 
new special attack hidden up your sleeve. Now's the time to use it, Goku. <laughs> Sorry. Nope. <laughs> Lazy fool. Meanwhile, I've been training non-stop to develop a sure kill technique. For real? I don't think he's got the will to fight anymore. <laughs> Someone who'd want to kill all my friends and family is no brother of mine. Now you better get the hell off this planet and never come back here again. Go on. You're going to be okay. <laughs> You're the poorest excuse for a Saiyan that I've ever seen! Now I'll teach you how a real warrior should act! Say your prayers! What is he? The hell? Special Beam Cannon! Damn it! Beaten by a filthy maggot! You saved my life, Piccolo. If you hadn't made a perfect shot, I'd be lying on the ground with him. <laughs> well, truth be told, I'd rather you both be dead and on the ground. But your friends would just revive you with the Dragon Balls shortly after anyway. The... the Dragon Balls? Yeah. All seven combined have the power to grant any wish. Even if it's bringing someone dead back to life. You can all go to hell. Still, I thank you for the information. <laughs> Everything that has happened here today has been transmitted to my two Saiyan comrades deep in outer space. When they've learned that I've been killed, they'll come to avenge me. Uh, wait, the other two Saiyans, when are they gonna get here? One year, just one short year. <laughs> Damn, T two of them, even stronger than him? How sweet does that victory taste now? They're going to wipe you all out. They'll soon have you writhing in agony like the worms you are. Gohan, let's you and I do a little sparring. What do you say? Really? With you, Dad? Of course! You've already gotten way stronger than me when I was your age. We just need to keep up your training. Don't you agree, Piccolo? Oh, sure. But he'd be a lot stronger than that if he wasn't being spoiled so much. Aw, don't be like that. What are you so nervous about? <sighs> Come on, Gohan. Buck up! Right. Thank you very much for the opportunity! We're settling this right here and now! I'm not done yet. 
energy. Looks like they got here earlier than expected. Dad! I'll go get some sensu beans from Corn Tower. Piccolo, keep an eye on him for me. That's a massive energy I'm sensing. It started already, hasn't it? Ah! Yamcha! Dad! You're a lifesaver, Goku! Goku? Of course, you must be Kakarot. You've got a lot of power. <laughs> I can tell just by looking at you. Goku, let me back you up. Let's clean up this mess in one fell swoop. Yeah. Chaozu, Tien needs one of those sensu beans, quick! Uh, right! G Goku! Your fight's with me now! <laughs> Better make it a good one then. Oh, 
wow! I feel even stronger than I did before! Mr. Piccolo! Piccolo! <laughs> what a moron! Only thing he changed was the order I'm killing you in! and leave. Get as far away from here as you can. I can't afford to lose you. Dad! Let's do what he says, kiddo. If we head back to Kame House, Bulma should be able to preserve Piccolo's body. Yamcha, make sure Gohan's kept safe. I promise. Don't go dying on me! Who does this guy think he is? Waltzing up to me like it's nothing. As I thought, he's grown stronger after having his wounds healed. But how he's recovered so quickly is cause for concern. It might be too late, Goku. Even if Piccolo's body is preserved, he... I know. Which means the Dragon Balls would be gone forever, too. No, it's not hopeless. Even if he dies, there's still a way. A, a way to do what? Before you guys got here, those aliens referred to Piccolo as a Namekian. I realized something important as a result. I'll explain all the details later, but for now... Yeah, we gotta focus on winning this fight first! Ha! <laughs> you can save some time and attack all at once! Just another few bodies for the pile! Guys! Don't do anything crazy! Right. Damn it! If only Yamcha were here too! Huh? Hey, where did Shotsu go? Just cause you can get back up again, doesn't mean you should! Yeah! I don't know how exactly he was able to heal up so fast. As I thought, Kakarot's strength has already increased. After all, we say him grow more powerful every time we return from the brink of death. Could he have somehow known that about his heritage? Screwed up! Please help me! Too bad. I have no use for a paralyzed Saiyan. You're dead white! Psycho! He, he... He just killed his own partner for no reason! We have to face facts. This other one is way out of our league. Forgive me, guys, but I want to face off against him one-on-one! -on -one. Goku! I get you. Let him have this, Tien. You said it yourself. He's too strong for us to even be able to lend a hand. Yeah, but... Yo! Let's finish this someplace else! Fine by me. Makes no difference. Now, allow me to show you a wall that no amount of hard work will help you climb! The Saiyans are a true warrior race! Is that it? Fool! We're settling this right here and now! Yeah! 
As my Powerball substitutes as a full moon to spark a transformation beyond your wildest dreams! Transformation? Now you're dead! First open and mix! I'll vaporize you! What the hell's going on here? So, so he's... Some kind of like great ape monster? That's it. Ha, me, ha, me. All right, let's go our plan. I'll vaporize you. Even with your little power on, it doesn't change the fact that you're low-class scum. I think it's about time I wrap this up by crushing you with my bare hands. Damn it! Ha, me, ha, me. Krillin, over there. Go, go! Chiaotzu, good thing you had those sensor beans on you. But Tien! Krillin! Uh. Oh, gonna revive your friend again? Or have you learned to let the weak stay dead? Maybe now you understand what it means to be a Saiyan, Kakarot! Damn! I'm all out of sense of beans! Well then, it's time for me to conclude this battle. And you'll be reunited with your friends in one more painful moment. What? Balls are gone. And Krillin, he's already been killed once and can never be revived again. I will never, ever forgive you for this. <laughs> A magical change of hair color doesn't undo the fact that I bore outclass you. We'll see about that. 
thought. Oh, now you've suddenly grown a spine. Every word that escapes your mouth infuriates me all the same. We're settling this right here and now. Get ready to see my real strength. Yeah. Yeah. Got you. No, that would be impossible. There's no way. Those are just old stories. And even if they're true, only an elite warrior like myself can ascend to those heights. How can I be outclassed by some pathetic reject? How can I be reduced to this? It's inconceivable! I never want to see you on this planet again! And I shall never forget this humiliation! My, my words, Kakarot. I too will surpass the limits of what a Saiyan can do! Dad, I'm sorry I can't go with you, but promise me you'll come back with the Dragon Balls so we can wish back Mr. Piccolo and the others. You got it, Gohan. Or anything? Huh? Hey! Who, who the hell are you? Are you with him? Those must be the Namekian Dragon Balls I saw on my radar. They're way huger than the ones on Earth. If you're after these, then you must be with him. Who's him? What do you mean? Get him! <laughs> We're settling this right here and now! I'm not done yet. All right, let's go. We're set this right here and now. These are tough one. His power level is off the charts. Huh? This 
energy. Vegeta! With Freeze out of the way, my fight is with you now, Kakarot! Now become a Super Saiyan immediately! What do you think, Kakarot? Now I too can transform into the legendary Super Saiyan! <laughs> oh, I see. This little guy's an Amekian! To bring everyone back to life, I have no choice but to take down Vegeta. What are you waiting for? Turn Super Saiyan! Or would you rather just lay down and die? Is this what you wanted? <laughs> Indeed. For killing you in this state is the only way to reclaim my honor! I pushed myself to the verge of death to improve my strength. But despite my greatest efforts, I knew deep down that I still hadn't reached your level. But then, out of the endless rage invoked by the humiliation you left me after our last battle, I became a Super Saiyan! I killed Freezer with my own two hands! So I thank you, Kaka! Well, now that you've achieved this strength, what do you even need the Dragon Balls for? Why bother killing innocent people like the Namekians? Simple, because the universe has no room for the weak. So why don't you join me? Nothing will be out of your grasp. What do you say, Kakarot? I have everything I could ever need, Vegeta. <laughs> You no. Now I'm mad. Let me see what you got. You Super Saiyan, I'm still inferior to this low-class clown! To truly be a Super Saiyan, you've got to be pure of heart, awakened by fury. That's what I am. Your rage alone helped you reach the transformation, but you still lack what it takes to unlock its real power. If you're taking your leave, you had better finish me off this time! Oh, I'm not killing you. And no, it's not to make you feel any sense of shame. What? It's because I want to fight with you again someday. So the next time you feel ready, you can bet I'll be ready too. Kakarot. You're a true Saiyan after all. Then the next time we cross paths, I'll be stronger. Strong enough to crush you once and for all! And so, Goku and Vegeta's Super Saiyan rematch comes to an end. Our hero looks on as his newfound rival takes his leave of Planet Namek. Goku triumphantly returns home to Earth to celebrate with his family and friends. Their world now at peace. As Goku continues to improve himself, one must wonder how much stronger will he become? Only time and his next challenge will tell. <laughs> <laughs>